Welcome back to Chaos. It's been a little bit of time, not it's been a month. That's it. <laughs> Did we miss one session or two? Month and a half. Two. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. So it's been a while. It's uh, been a while. Yep. Good Jeremy. And really shouldn't drink as a guest. Guest appearance, what's up? Uh, we'll see <laughs> he what wasn't uh, we'll see what he can get into. I'll probably have him play the bad guy or something along those lines. I'm gonna kill you dead. We'll find something huge and uh, he gets anyway. a goblin. He's gonna play killing you guy. <laughs> so in the last session they finished the uh, Tomb of Horrors. Oh he didn't finish exactly. That, that, well they got close we, I'm pretty sure we got way through it. <laughs> you got pretty close to finishing it and Rand died. <laughs> he died uh, hard. And so you guys just bounce out. <laughs> and we went back minutes. to Sartek City and got him resurrected. Uh, did some shopping, <coughs> and then just came back to life. What do we do, Red? Uh, shopping. Got a machine. mission from, from Penumbra oh God. to uh, in the same place that you're going. Convenient to get one of the pearls, oh, one of the pieces of the right? pearl of Avon. Uh, is a leader. Named Abubakar, a giant <coughs> who is corrupt and not very good, and he wants uh, he needs to be killed. <laughs> that is why he's you Abu. have that. Abubakar. Abubakar. He's Abub. Abubakar. Abub. Like a Did stripper van. Like I believe. I think that there's a Seven Eleven somewhere. Desert giant. Desert or so desert? he probably has a 7 weapon somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> he just made out of cotton candy. Yeah. It matters because one way I can kill him really quickly, one way it's going to take longer. Um. <laughs> oh, no, it's not always super clear in this book where he is. Got all kinds of neat little dinosaurs. That's fun. Uh, I miss the original definition when Sheldon has any books. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Gee, here we go. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. It is indeed. Uh, I say that. I could, oh, I I could poison them with this big treat that he did with the third one. Me too. That's feasible. I can just beef him up. You could not. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one listed here that, is only a CR9. That's fine. Which is not fine. It's perfectly okay. Well, That's okay. We're like level 13. I, I mean, just as fuck up, Dave. I don't ask you. You're still in Sartek City, and you haven't uh, procured any kind of transport. Uh, you have, being high enough level now, you have a number of different potential means to do so. Uh, you can teleport fairly closely through the mages, uh, through, through the University of Magi. Um, Cost you whatever the cost of teleport is. Because you're a guild. Uh, you can charter a ship and sail across, which will take a good while. But you might have some nice water encounters. I was about to say, guys, we had a good time last time we were on the ship. Let's let's have a scenic excursion. Okay. What are you talking about? I want no part oh, yeah. of water. No. <laughs> Not even to drink. Uh, I would uh, much Alex, rather can teleport. You the, one of the players' handbooks for me? That would be brilliant. Really Clarify that was the chair and me farting. <laughs> if it was me farting, I'd have made a pay bigger deal about it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Rand and Bark the both want to take a boat, but they understand that you guys probably I don't, don't want, want to. Be on a boat. <laughs> Bark <laughs> really just wants to go for a swim. <laughs> yours? It's in my car right now. Why? Because Steve found it. Actually, Larry found it and gave it to Delbert and Delbert gave it to Steve and Steve gave it to me. That's cool. Teleport. It's a circle of life. Can you cast teleport? 
Yeah. And you grabbed it last. That's how we got out of the fucking. Yeah, that's how you revived me is teleporting me. You did indeed. I just got the ability to cast teleport, and sure enough, ant. It worked. I brought it in with you. I probably did. We know that damn post. Yeah. But I killed it. So one fucking post. Sitting on the column. That's the ant column. Where's the uncle column? I hate you so much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Ah. Uh, Teleport holy, holy fucking uncles. Verbal components. Is that uncle fucker? Judge a fucking uncle fucker. I thought you had to like draw a circle though. Well, there is a teleportation circle. Which this is why we're okay on playing uh, this game anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Like, I mean, when I'm about to cast it, I can draw it out myself. Uh, 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 you don't know circle, where we're no, going, though. No, I would know exactly where I'm going. The circle costs, uh, like, takes a minute to do. Yeah. Uh, the, the the teleport spell uh, is is one action. Yeah. You went up to eight willing like creatures. You can go blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's see. Anywhere. Your sigil on... sequence, you know, on that same plane of existence. Yeah. You yeah. have to have a teleportation circle Not there, you. <laughs> where you're well, going. If you have a permanent, like, if there is a permanent circle there, you can teleport without any sort of mishap problem. <laughs> Email? Slimescape? <laughs> Which we're going to use for free music. Thank you, Slimescape. Oh, it's a Stargate. It's okay. not quite free, but it's just about free. You just have to know the <laughs> order of the sigils. It's a One Stargate. Stargate. What? Where am I? <laughs> what year is it? How did I get here? Stargates. You guys should do the one. That no, that's literally what it is. Like you have to have like the chevrons and everything. Huh. Now creating one is tough. A permanent circle, but you have to cast a spell every day for a year. Yeah. That's when you get you pay somebody to right do it. Rare chalks and inks infused with precious gems for fifty gold pieces for the components. I saw something the other day. Apparently, like spell components, like in first edition, they were just like literally added as a joke, like. Uh, for the sea invisibility spell, you had to have like chalk dust. So pretty much, you were just literally like blowing chalk dust, and you could see what it stuck to. For yeah, fireball, you had that. like back back guano was the component, so sulfur, and it just, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. There it is. I understand. Do you get it? Yeah. Want to pick something real quick? Hmm. Nobody fucks uncles. Uncle. Uncle. Nobody oh. fucks uncles quite like you. I have to bless this device. <laughs> you have to bless the device. Yeah, you can have three devices. Oh yeah, and you already had three. Already have three. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Am I the only priest here? Are you a priest here? Are you ordained? I can do the blessings. Nope. My mother's an ordained minister in every state. Nice. Really? Nice. I, I'm only in West Virginia. She so married a bunch of my. Give me a boat and open water. Instead of minister, take to the seas. You can pick is uh, you can actually be a Jedi to marry. Yeah. People. And I would actually like to do that. Yes. Yep. Mm. That means you can be married by Jedi. That's cool. By the power invested in me by what the Jedi if, code, I now pronounce you. No. By the power of the force. Okay. It's, it's got to download stuff. <laughs> okay. Just play the James I don't Bond think music. you want to marry okay. people by force. <laughs> I don't You're not know. supposed to be using <laughs> force to marry people. I mean, gosh. It's called shotgun links for a reason. <laughs> well, Jedi don't use shotguns, gosh. Okay. Oh, they prefer sabers. They're more elegant weapons. But there is paper. Not nearly as clumsy as a blaster. So, 
unless we have anything else particular to do in Sartak, are you going to circle teleport us over to Continent Place? Yeah. I can not I can never remember the name of the freaking continent. Please. I don't remember the name of the continent. we should we do. <laughs> That's why you keep a journal. Because I could find yeah. out. Also, my this is probably why I didn't really make it through college. Is my note taking is terrible. This is it's like consistent. So there's that. Yeah, I understand it, but <laughs> if anybody else tried to read this, they wouldn't know what the fuck I was writing down. What I'm saying is, I would probably try to sneak in and not worry about dealing with the other shit. Like the actual combat portion of it, right? Fair. You can. If that's mm -hmm. the case, I wouldn't have really worried about combat in general, so I'm saying. Yeah. As long as I'm not trying to, you know, kill it with fire. Yeah. I'm Which, oddly enough, not the time to kill it with fire. Yeah. Who knew? Okay. Um, I'm okay. Leas. Yup. Give me an investigation check. Road investigation. Yes. Mm. Okay. Uh, I know that that's not super jam, but 10? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, being a member of the <coughs> University of yeah. Magi, yeah. Yeah. you know that there are several different uh, teleportation circles in Itosa. Yeah. Uh, there is, interestingly enough, not one in Imako, uh, which you mm. have a few options. In terms of what they uh, tell me about. In terms of, like, location. So Can you point them out? Yeah. Uh, it's going to be, you probably can't see it because I'm blurry because of the camera, fun stuff. Anyway, here is Imako in the desert. Yeah. Middle of the desert. That's where you want to go. That's where you want to go. Uh, you've got... A place you can uh, teleport here, which is uh, Ifubama. Uh, by the that way, was these have very like Orient type names for a reason. <coughs> um, there's this area here, which is the capital. That gray is a mountain range, right? Yeah. This, okay. This is a uh, yep. This is a mountain range. Uh, you could go there into it's a dwarven area. Uh, they, they happen to have one. Use it across the mountains. I don't speak dwarven, so that wouldn't or go well. Trade. <laughs> At least the people are right height. Gosh. You're also you're an elf. Uh, tiefling. Tiefling. That's your other character. Yeah, my other character is an elf that speaks dwarven. That's fair. Uh, no, this uh, one is tiefling. Yeah. Looking over maps and stuff. This will be your closest one. That's what I was thinking. Uh, I think I remember yeah. saying the Ufi. Ifuwama. Ifuwama is the one that we were going to pick previously. Ifuwama. Indeed. I have actually never had anyone go to this continent, ever. Awesome. I just made it a long time ago. And it's been there. And it's been there, it. and I've never done anything in it. So Heck it's yeah. Really fun. Fate hasn't screwed with its future or Uncharted. killed things over there. Uncharted did they ever find their donkey? Up stuff for. That's fine. I think they did find their donkeys eventually. Oh, okay. Way back no, when. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I like at the very end of the campaign, like whenever this all ends, I like the donkey just to wander back to him. No, <laughs> the, the donkey is what playing. kills the final boss. <laughs> <laughs> the donkey of destiny. And there was yeah. Jack. <laughs> Dude, it sucked. All day. Alright, there was a bike race that blocked up all of 3rd Avenue. Yeah. Dang. It happened to me before. I was trying to go down... And, like, I had to take, like, three detours to get to work. Yeah. Yeah. There was a bike race, there was Tricon, and then there was some kind of veterans event happening all within the within walking distance of Pullman Square. Oh, that's right, Tricon. How was Tricon, by the way? It was pretty cool. I got a, uh... Any, any like... Famous-ish people there? Yeah, there are a few, but I don't remember what they are. One of them was <laughs> the uh, animator for Rick and Morty. Nice. And, uh, he was there. Did he have dipping sauce? That's, I can never remember how to pronounce that sauce. Am I going to respond Szechuan. to that answer for that question? No. 
I only finished the. I, I finally watched it. I only, uh, still haven't seen that episode though. Oh, it's not on Hulu. Do. That's what episode one of season three. You can watch it on YouTube. I mean, well, what's the plan? We're ready to go, right? I, Is there any final prep you want to do before you go? Do you have a question? No. Okay. Close the thumbs up. Oh, okay. And actually, I was about to say, Rand and Bark have something. been ready for a bit. I was trying to find the music. I don't see it. Uh, let me see it. Yeah. <laughs> you just select. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. The fuck is this shit? You have to hit. There's an icon down there uh -huh. that like switches it from the music to it sounded sound like it was in pain. Sound effects. Uh, yeah. Things, yeah. Well, like you can just keep that over for now. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. So you all prepare. So you you prepare the teleportation circle, and it's the, the four of you. Mm -hmm. Nobody else is is tagging along or anything. Um, and Huh? Well, and bark. And bark. And whatever your little pseudo dragon is. Yeah. My shoulder dragon. A little familiar. Does it have a Pretty name? Epic music she, I'm, I'm trying forward. to think of some way to say shoulder dragon, like in a short word. Well. <laughs> um, Shogun? Stratton? Sh Shogun. Or sh Shogun. I think Shogun's got a different meaning. Well, well Shogun is a, uh, like, general in Japanese. Isn't it like a steakhouse? <laughs> you, can't, you can't do that. <laughs> can't use that one. One second. Okay. You cast your spell. And you all teleport away. Right? Yeah. Yep. And when the swirling magic of the teleportation ends, you find yourself in. What appears to be a white space void, uh, a la the hyperbolic time chamber. So it's just like white Not, for yeah, or kind of infinite like whiteness, disorienting, or like the Matrix right. room where they. That's what yeah, I was thinking of. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Bully Ryan member. What are you guys gonna do from um, the room of superiority? And you find Walk away a that you are alone, yeah. <laughs> and then in front of you, a series of high-backed chairs begin to phase into view. And the inside, or like sitting on the chairs, are these very uh, heavily robed individuals. One of them is the largest, like kind of in the center. There's like yeah. five of them total, and the biggest one is, is kind of in the middle. It's bigger. And he walks forward, forward toward you, and uh, you actually see him begin to shrink as he gets closer to you. Because these these are probably about. Well, it's hard to judge distance. I was about to say, uh, but him getting smaller would yeah. give us a sense of yeah. distance. Probably okay. about. Uh, Hundred, like hundred feet away or so. He takes and he a few looks steps. huge. He takes a few steps, and you see him shrinking down, uh, and he kind of arrives in front of you, and he, you can't really see his face. You know. It's blurry. Uh, it's it's not that it's blurry. It's kind of like bright light. Ah, um, it's just blinding from under a sort of cow. He says, "Cow." Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a hood, you know. It's, also, it's called a cow. No. <laughs> Chaos. Or so you call yourselves. Uh, tend to bring order. Not with, with some mm -hmm. light. Chaos. Oh, no, mix. Either. But <laughs> in general, it's not, it's not like that. Not like that at all. You 
bring order where you go. And I see that you have been gathering pieces. the pieces of my pearl. Your pearl? Your pearl? Yeah. That's Your what? <laughs> Your pearl? Your pearl? Your pearl. What you said. <laughs> I guess Rand and Leah both say that at the same time, like, your pearl. Only Rand slurs it. Yes. Yes. Whoa, slurs. Uh, and you have many of them. Which is fantastic. You've proven yourself again and again to be where the adventurers on this plane. There were many planes. Snakes. I shame that joke. In the verse, the multiverse. Most of them I have created, some of them I have not. You are. Okay, cool. Technos is infused with all of them. <coughs> and I'm looking for more individuals <coughs> to help maintain the order of the realm. You have begun to prove yourselves. Perhaps not all the way there yet. But with time, you can prove to be quite useful in saving the realms. <coughs> For many Thank you. Thank you. seek to destroy them. In some realms, they call Technos the Force. In some realms, they use it to build teleportation pads, phaser guns. In some, simple batteries and the like. At some point, you may be useful in traveling to these other realms to assist in maintaining the balance. The veil is a very real thing. It's, uh, on our time, if the veil is disrupted, the Terrask appears. And That's not good. Causes considerable damage. Usually. In so the other in other realms, it's far worse. In some realms, it's not so bad. But the veil is a thing that covers all. And it must be maintained. So, if you wish, once you have proven yourself by gathering the rest of the pieces, I may call on you to travel to distant realms to help me maintain order. Distant realms. That sounds scary, but... Oh no, there are many yeah. groups. Some smaller, some larger, of course. One of these is just one guy. He usually has a companion. Let's get Doctor Who reference written by Hidden Yeti. Yeah. <laughs> one group Three is... Three uh, All one of you watching. Wait, that's me. Two, two individuals, Try. not particularly bright, but interesting in their ways. They also use a phone booth. <laughs> It's a Bill and Ted reference. Oh, okay. Okay. I got it. I got, it. <laughs> I got that one. A couple of idiots. That's Captain America reference. <laughs> I 
actually an Avengers reference. That was, but it's still Captain yeah, America. Yeah, it was. So, and with that, we'll be right back. Oh, okay. No, fucking Rand was about to do a Rand thing. <laughs> <laughs>